Okay, well, uh, first of all, we're just glad to, um, to be here today, excited for this opportunity. Um, you know, our kids have been working incredibly hard all season and um, really like the way that we're playing and excited to get started. Questions? To the right, Christy. Christy Reekin from the Associated Press. When you have a team that hasn't been in the tournament um, and, and you're going against a team that has been multiple years and is also very experienced, how, what do you tell your, your ladies and how do you like guard against the experience factor, I guess? Sure. They are incredibly experienced. And, um, you know, that is something that you have to consider. But, you know, I also know that um, that's why we play the games. And uh, we're very excited to be here. And I think the one thing that you will find about our team is that we are a very level-headed team, a very intelligent team. And as long as we keep our focus on where it needs to be, um, I think we'll be prepared. To the left, Cease. Robert says to Bryan College Station Eagle, Coach, it wasn't that long ago that you were here. You started your season, and when you, when you were looking at the teams and where you might go, did you think you might come here? And then when you saw the field, what did you think about the field? Yeah, uh, you know, I had a feeling we would probably go regional, um, and so we, we thought there was a chance we could come here. Um, you know, I think this is an incredibly uh, talented field, and, um, you know, it's going to be a, um, an opportunity for our kids to come out and, and, and continue to improve. the right Christy what do you think has been the biggest key to your you guys success especially during this winning streak that you've had I think it's been focusing on the moment we've talked about all season how important it is just to focus on the game in front of you um, the only time we really look backwards is just to learn the areas that we need to improve and we, we don't look forward and so you know I think that um, as long as we continue to keep that mindset we'll be as prepared as we can be the left cease what about the matchup, Coach? We already talked to the Marquette players. They talk about the tempo. The coach talked that she thought that would be important. What do you, what do you, Connor, what do you think the important thing is going to be? You guys slowing it up or you see something else? I think they're incredibly talented. Um, they have five players on the floor that can score at all times. They play at a great tempo and, and something that um, I'm sure that they're very excited about. Um, I think we have good tempo as well. I think that people look at our score sometimes and assume that we play slow. I think we try to play smart. And we will run when we can, and um, we will continue to do that. Um, but we want to make the best decision each time we go down the floor. To the right, Christy. Uh, while they have the experience, you you seem to definitely have the size. Um, could you discuss like what Mulkey brings to your team and just your size overall, um, as opposed to their team? Yes, ma'am. Uh, obviously, I think Nancy Mulkey is one of the best centers in the country, and um, you know it's it's because of her skill set. You know, she can go out. People want to bring her out a lot uh, defensively, and she can go out and has great has great feet. Um, really moves well. And same thing on the offensive end of the floor. She can face up. She can play back to the basket. Um, she's just really a matchup problem and um, incredibly skilled. Uh, Christy? With, with you, you, you guys playing the um, game so close to um, your campus, do you expect to have like a good crowd? And could that be a benefit to you in this game as well? Yeah, we think so. I mean, our, our Rice community has been tremendous and um, really um, excited to see them come out. I also think that, um, you know, we have a, a, a good friendship uh, rivalry with Texas A&M as well. Um, Gary Blair is a great friend. And, um, you know, so I'm hoping that some of their fans will, will give us a little support as well. But, that, you know, we really do expect a, a great turnout from the Rice community. Christy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what what is um, Erica meant to your team, and how have you seen her grow in the time that you you've been with her? Erica's growth is tremendous because of her, her work ethic, you know, and her IQ. Um, you know, so she has um, continued to develop as a player um, throughout her time. And, um, you know, I think the thing that's the neatest about her is that the way that she impacts the game in, in so many ways. Um, you know, she obviously, as you know, can score it at three levels, um, but she also can pass the ball and, and rebounds the ball really well and, and is an exceptional defender. And so there's not an area of the game that she doesn't impact. Go ahead, Christy. And when you don't, you don't have uh, 
any NCAA tournament experience, someone like her that has the family that she has with everything she's been around, do you think that could possibly help help you at all? For sure. You know, she jokes that, you know, she grew up going to Final Four, so she thought it was just a regular thing. So, um, you know, she has that experience of being in the, in the, in the NCAA environment. Um, and obviously we have um, other players who have as well. And so um, I think we have a little of experience um, in that area that um, maybe you wouldn't think about, including our coaching staff. And so, um, you know, no, I don't think it's so much about the environment, though. Again, if you continue to focus on it, just the game, um, the game that's in front of us, the opponent in front of us, and that's really our focus right now. Christy Reekin from the AP. Nancy, when um, you're a team that's in the NCAA tournament for the first time and you're dealing with a team with so much experience and a lot of seniors, what, what do you think will be the key to success? Um, I think just really focus on us and play to the best of our ability. You know, just follow our scout plan and, I mean... Yeah, it's our first time here, but we're really excited to be here, and we've prepared very well for it. To the left, Cease. Uh, Robert Sesta, Brian College Station Eagle. Nicole, we've heard a lot about tempo is going to be a key in this game. As the guard, uh, what, what, how do you describe your tempo, and how do you make your guys' tempo be the pace in the game? Yeah, we play um, fast and slow. We like to push the pace, but then set our offense up. So we just want to focus on us and play our game, like Nancy was saying, and kind of uh, let the game come to us. And I think we're uh, pretty confident in our game and ourselves. To the right, Christy. Erica, growing up the way you did, being around the tournament so much, uh, do you kind of feel like you've maybe been in it, even though you haven't? Like this is your first time. Do you feel do you feel like a rookie in the tournament? Um, yes and no. I mean. Uh, I've experienced this with my sisters, but as a spectator, and that's completely different than being a player now. Um, but, yeah, I think um, being able to watch behind the scenes of my sisters prepare for this mentally has helped me a lot and because I'm kind of trying to emulate what they what they did because they're pretty successful at it. Um, and, yeah, I'm just trying to cherish each, mo each moment. But it's definitely different as a player than as a spectator. But they're both very um, awesome. The left cease. Nancy, uh, two parts. Looking at your stats, how do you uh, not, not foul? I noticed all the block shots. A lot of people get in foul trouble. That's one. Number two, uh, why'd you leave Oklahoma, if I can ask? Um, so the first part to your question, like I said many times, I just love defense. And, you know, I have the length. And so just using my length and keeping my body away from everybody else. And I've learned not to swing down when I block shots. And so just staying... Um, to my true colors and playing how I can play. And then the second part to your answer, um, mainly for academics, uh, I definitely um, saw Rice as an opportunity and to be here um, was just an add-on to it. To the right, Christy. Erica, what do you think has been the uh, biggest key to the team's success during this winning streak, and how do you just focus on each game instead of, like, worrying about extending the streak or w yeah. how many games you'll have won? Yeah, I think that's honestly your question in itself is the biggest key. Uh, we definitely have a mo uh, kind of like a mantra of taking it game by game here, uh, and every next game is the most important game, and we try not to look past that. And I think that definitely has made us successful with our streak. I mean, I don't think that was the intention of anybody when we came into it. We just wanted to do our best every single game and execute. And by taking it, um, following the process and taking it game by game, I think we were able to uh, make very specific progression uh, throughout the season that has led us here. Left cease. Interesting, Nicole. Making the tournament, would you ra you're glad you're in the state, or would you rather gone somewhere else? Oh, we are super happy. We're playing so close to home. Um, we have buses coming down from campus tomorrow for the game. We had a huge send off this morning. A lot of our families are local. All three of us are from Houston, so a lot of uh, people's families are able to come very easily. So we're super thankful and excited to be playing so close to home. To the right, Christy. Nancy, when, when you're um, on a team that hasn't been in the tournament for a, long, for a long time, what's the level of pride in getting the team back to the tournament and being able to do something that a school hasn't done in a long time? 
Yeah, it definitely means a lot, you know, 14 years later and we're here. And so to just finally do that, you know, give back to the university, my teammates, the coaches, the coaching staff, and just everyone a part of our journey here, it, it means a lot. And so we're just very grateful to be here and we're excited for everything that we've done so far. To the right, Christy. Nancy, we talked about how they have the experience, but obviously you'll have the size factor because um, they're a little bit undersized. How do you think that can work to your advantage? Uh, not a lot of teams go against a 6'9 person, and so I think it's definitely, I mean, they have the guards and speed, but then we have more size. And so I think it's definitely going to be interesting to see how it plays out tomorrow, but it's definitely going to be fun. Go ahead, Christy. Erica, as a follow-up to a question from earlier, when we were talking about how you've been around the tournament for so long, but the feeling of being in it for the first time, um, what? how do you feel about it? How does your family feel about it? Like, what's the excitement level? <clears throat> I mean, I think everyone in my family is extremely excited for me and my sister uh, and all of us here at Rice for being here. Uh, my sisters definitely tell me to just enjoy the moment uh, because it's not something that everyone gets to experience. Uh, but And I think because of that, I'm just really trying to, you know, absorb everything like by osmosis. Just, uh, it's, it's really surreal, uh, and I'm excited to be here.